you doing? How you feeling? It's Shari J and welcome back to another Cooking with C and D. Our last cooking with C and D. Um, because we regret to inform you guys that we are breaking up. Well, we broke up. We broke up last month, but I had another month here on the lease, so I figured we would just, you know, have a good time for the last month and enjoy it instead of being like, oh, I hate you or whatever. <laughs> It's um, kind of like that though. Yeah, we didn't like yeah. break up on that bad note. We're we just... totally fine. We're still friends. Great yeah. friends, clearly. Yeah. We always will be. So. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, we just wanted to do. As oh the, my the god! Goes in the water. Uh, we'll go remote in the water. It'll be okay. Damn, damn, damn. <laughs> Anywho. So, we just wanted <laughs> to come and tell you guys that. Um, you probably will see him again, but I'm moving out. I'm in the process of moving out. So, um, just in case you don't see him again, you guys wonder, where is Derek? Yeah, we, we are no longer together and this will probably be our last video together. But, to kind of like close down on a good note, since we've been having such a great July and it's currently July 31st. Um, yes. we wanted to try a new recipe because... <laughs> That's what I wanted to do, and he agreed to do it. Um, so, you guys know we love mac and cheese. I talked about Hot For Food blogs, mac and cheese forever, and people love it. We even had a guest over not so long ago. She loved it as well. So, I wanted to try something else um, with a little twist on mac and cheese, which is mac and cheese waffles. Now, I don't know if this is going to turn out right, um, because I tried looking for a recipe of mac and cheese waffles, like veganized mac and cheese waffles, and I couldn't find any. So we're going to go with this um, Food, Food Network. Network. Um, Network. It wasn't even like a recipe for it. It was just like this video of this guy saying that he had it in Las Vegas, and it was great. And they kind of showed how they did it. So we're going to kind of like take notes from that and do it and veganize it. Hopefully it tastes good. We're not even following the real true recipe of Hopper Food because we couldn't find the Daya cheese that she uses that we always use as well. So we're trying new Daya cheese. So we're just going to try this out, see if it works. Um, hopefully it does. Derek already started cooking another dish. I told him to wait for me and he just was like, whatever, I'm going to do what I want. No, okay. I, she was like prep it and for some reason I heard yeah, prep it and cook it because you know it's kind of late and it is a Sunday night. All right, so we got some delicious chickpeas, chard, uh, grape tomatoes, a little bit of garlic, uh, some lemon juice, some pepper, and so to uh, golden raisins, and so tossed up nicely here, and uh, some olive oil goes great over some brown rice, makes a little healthy side dish. So. Yeah, and I've made cinnamon rolls as well. This is gonna be like the longest video because I'm just talking through it. But cinnamon rolls are ready to be baked, so I think I'm gonna bake those. Oh, it looks so good. While these are cooking, he'll be doing a recipe for the mac and cheese. So, yeah, stay tuned. Sorry, this video is gonna be extra long, but we had to get that intro out the way because people gonna be like, "Where is Derek? Where? You're not in the same place anymore. Did you move out? What's going on?" Yeah, we broke up. <laughs> so we're gonna cook three cups of macaroni and cheese and that's about all i'm gonna do because <laughs> he's gonna do the rest lord puppy give me strength so you're about to get everything ready for the food processor so i'm gonna go ahead and get my one of those he's having some issues so i'm going to help him a little bit i'm gonna go one teaspoon of onion powder Teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of sea salt, quarter teaspoon of white pepper, two teaspoons of arrowroot. Powder. Powder. To thicken it up. Oh, is that that done? Mm hmm. Oh, I didn't know. Now I know. Yeah, that's so smart. So the pasta's cooked and the cashews have been rinsed and drained. Alright, take this. What am I doing? Oh, God. Take the cashews and put those in there. You could have put those in there first. Cashews in here, see? Cashew. 
Cashew in, in Detroit. Cashew. All right, what's the rest of the you. stuff you need to put in? I know you didn't put in the lemon juice or the sunflower oil. What, 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 lemon, what we got for lemon? Wait, what? Huh? Look at the recipe. I'm just going to squeeze it. This is all we got, so this is what's going in there. No, we have another whole no. lemon in there. No. Oh, this no. is why I told you to prep, man. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't be mad right now. Oh, my God. <laughs> lemon juice in here. Derek just said a lot of shit goes into this. One and a half cups. Oh, my gosh. Quarter cup. Sunflower oil. So we don't have tomato paste, so we're using. Yep, that. No, we're not, because that white thing is mold. We don't have tomato puree anymore because it's got a, you know, mold, little fuzzy, fuzzy friend. Yeah. So we're gonna use some uh, tomato sauce. Yeah. And instead of using three tablespoons, because tomato paste is much thicker than um, sauce, just use two tablespoons. So I told him three teaspoons equals one tablespoon. Yay, man. Uh, limited. <laughs> What is that? This is miso. How many tablespoons? Uh, one. Just use your finger to get it out. That's what she said. Wow. <laughs> Why is she? Look at her. <laughs> no! What was that? Something up. Stuff's falling over up on top of the fridge. I need out. Cracking up because I'm like out. mumbling and grumbling. He's and like so upset. Trying to put so stuff. Like, I'm not upset. I'm just like <laughs> annoyed because nothing ever fits in you. <laughs> well, I won't have all my crap in there when I move out. It's so not a, no, don't fridge. say that. You gonna tell them how I almost cried at the store today? The song came oh on and I, and I almost got I got all teary eyed. I was like, "You'll be fine." She kept singing it and it was stuck in my head. I was like, <laughs> "Special ingredient, cheesiness." Is, what is it? Drum roll, please. Oh my god. The, uh, the nutritional yeast. Hey. Wow. That's 11.25 a freaking pound, which is why we have a small little bottle. This is why. Oh my God! Well, you said you want an extra, so. This is why it costs too much to be vegan. Don't let me lecture you again. Or don't make me lecture you again, rather. You're gonna take the macaroni and cheese and put it in the pot, and then pour that over the macaroni and cheese. Stop. You're gonna wanna put the half a cup of cheddar and half a cup of mozzarella. So this is the cheese we got, Daya. So we usually use the Havarti jalapeno, but they didn't have any at the store. So we're gonna use this combination and hopefully it tastes good. Der Derek chose the mozzarella. I said half a cup, you didn't measure this? Oh God, he's not measuring it. Doing like my grandma, you know? Your grandma knew how to cook. She did. She was awesome. You are not your grandma. Too bad. That's all you're gonna put. Is that enough for you? Is that enough? Alright, we're gonna melt this and then we're gonna put it in the oven. This is what the mac and cheese look like once all the Cheese is melted. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now you gotta wrap it up, foil on top of it, and then bake it for 20 minutes. Derek is so precise. <laughs> I always say this is when his OCD comes out to play. <laughs> Look at his face, it's like so concentrated. In the oven it goes. Good job. Okay, so it's almost one o'clock. So I want to thank Derek for putting up with me because I know he hates that I'm always late cooking. This happened with our last C and D. We were up to like two o'clock in the morning. Anyway. Four. <laughs> okay, so we now have the mac and cheese done. Uh, it just came out the oven, and now we have our drudging station i think that's what it's called so this is flour this is egg replacer because they had egg we don't obviously have eggs we're vegan so we're using this egg replacer stuff energy egg replacer and then we're gonna put it in our breadcrumb mixture so this is panko plus the spices uh basil and oregano and then we're gonna put it in the belgian waffle maker that derek bought for me like six years ago we broke up and he wanted to give me back and i was like I want a Belgian waffle maker. And so he bought, one, bought me one and we 
eventually got back together. So, we need to have um, circle cutouts to put into the waffle maker. So, I'm going to use this pot uh, topper, top of pot thingy as a circle because we don't have like really big uh, cookie cutters. So, let's see how this works. Um, praying to God it works well. Scoop some of this out. This is not gonna go well. <laughs> Sprinkle some of this on here. <laughs> this is gonna be a disaster. Okay, put it in the egg mixture. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just get all messy with it. Why not? There you go. Yeah. Oh yeah. Get in there. Now <laughs> we gonna dump it in the goodness that is this bread mixture. Yeah, flour on your nose. Okay. So cute. So, Pam. All right. We're just gonna try this out because if it doesn't work out, I don't wanna like. Yummy. Waste all of this because I have another idea since this isn't working out or it may not work out. So I'm just gonna smash that on there. Make sure this is nice and coated. So obviously, this is not gonna make a whole waffle, but this is just a tester since my original plan failed. At least I think it did. I have our cleaning crew down here. Say hi, buddy. Get out, Ronnie. Bad butt. Okay. All right. All right. So I think that looks good. I think that's about as done as it's gonna get. <laughs> Taste test. Mm, I like to cut my stuff up. Wow. One, two, three. Very interesting. I mean, definitely not what you expect, but it's like, I'm trying to imagine what it would be like to eat a waffle. I'm going to cheese it. No, this ain't it. Yeah. We're going to do a part two. I imagine it was Monday morning, <laughs> August 1st, 2016, 118 and one. We're going to do a part two. Um, work. <laughs> tomorrow, once you get off work, I'm going to have everything ready. I'm going to shoot with you guys. Because I think I can make this work. I have a great idea. And that way we'll have it with the nacho cheese sauce. Because this ain't <clears> it. <throat> it's alright. I was trying to be nice. But yeah. This ain't it. breaking up on me. Oh, I'm so sad. It's not gonna look as nice. But I'm gonna get it out. I have to get it out. I want the action. It's gotta be a little everything. Alright, let's see how this tastes. good man it has the texture the crunchy texture i like how to describe and it's like gooey on the inside yeah it's like biting into a waffle but it's not it's like two totally different textures 
And it's really actually kind of cool the more I eat it. Hmm. Dipping in the cheese. And the cheese sauce is kind of spicy because it has sriracha in it. I know it should have kick. Yeah, I was wondering what that was. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. good, man. Yay. Good. I like the two textures of it, though. Oh, cool. I'm yeah. I'm actually very interesting. Yeah. For your face. Yeah. But you would, you like it. Mm-hmm. You would definitely, like, buy this or yeah, order this at a oh, yeah. restaurant or something. Mm -hmm. Yay! Success! Good. After that horrible failure yesterday. Don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely like a guilty pleasure, just like the Food Network says. Mm -hmm. I don't even want to think about any calories, but... I don't care about that. I don't know. But it's vegan, so it's okay. It's all plant-based stuff. I don't care. <laughs> it's still good.